How you doing, folks? This is Scott with Leading Edge Archery. Um, we're going to go over the brand new, just came out, Gen 7 Limb Driver Pro V from Vapor Trail. Uh, this is a really big upgrade over the last probably 10 years old model, which I've shot personally and absolutely love it. Um, but one of the biggest complaints we had as a shop is the lack of a fully enclosed cage system. So the old one, as you can see here, the cage is open here. So we got a lot of complaints about that. Um, all the other dropway rests have a fully enclosed cage. So Vapor Trail this year came out with a elastomeric coated cage system, which is very, very nice. Um, it's got the quick load arrow riser, arrow rest section here, which you can load in quickly. And one thing I really like about it is that they encased the rest once it's fully closed. You can see the V-bar is completely enclosed and encased also. It sits down in this nice little slot. So it's protecting a lot of the mechanism that the prior rest was wide open. You can, you can get debris and stuff in there. I also really like internally here, you may not be able to see it, but where this rest comes down and it hits, it makes contact here in the down position. It's got a nice rubberized flat back, so it's really quiet, really quiet. Probably one of the little flaws in the last couple of years. It had a rubber uh, compound there, as it, but it's a stick on. So they made some great upgrades. I'm really excited to get this on this bow and give it a try. Okay, so one of the things we're noticing as we're installing this, uh, this is a universal mount. They're going to make both specific mounting brackets for these new Gen 7s, which is going to be nice. It's going to, you know, increase our cost of ownership on a shop side a little bit. But, for example, on this universal mount, um, this is the vibration reducer on the cable guard, and we're going to have contact here. So we've done this on a lot of bows in the past. So on the Hamskis, for example, we will cut this bottom uh, vibration absorber out won't affect the bow at all, but it will give us some clearance right here on this V-Drive. Um, I think probably the bow-specific mounts will help that. I know Hoyt is going to make a short one because the Hoyt has the rear stabilizer bar on the riser. Um, I think that will eliminate that on this Prime, for example, getting contact here with the cable guard. The second thing is that I noticed this rest has a very low center of profile. What that means is when I'm going to tune this arrow and getting it installed properly on the bow, um, this one sits much lower in its profile than its predecessor. So I'm having to really get this rest up the top end of the profile to ensure that I get this half shaft to uh, full shaft above the burger button hole to get this rest properly tuned to the bow. guys, it's Cody. We've got this uh, Paper Trail Gen 7 on here. I'm going to shoot through paper. I think we got it pretty close. Let's see how she does. It looks pretty good. Got it all tuned up through paper. Let's get her on the target. All right, had to make a few adjustments. Right on spot, X 20 yards, this Vapor Trail Gen 7 is money, guys. Can't wait to play with it. I'm gonna smoke an elk with it this year.